Friends, just take a look at those people who have set high hopes on you. I'm talking about your parents who are ready to live and die for you and you are not ready to study even for five minutes. Just think today, what do you have to do in your life? You want to know how hard you have to work. Let me tell you, this is a story about a man named Karoly Takix, a Hungarian man. He was the best pistol shooter of his country. He has won all national championships in his country. It was confirmed almost to everyone that in 1940s Olympics, Karoly will get the gold medal. And he trained himself for years. He had only one dream, one focus, that I have to make this hand the best shooting hand of the world. And he succeeded. He made his hand the best shooting hand. Just two years left in 1939, an Army's training camp was going on. Because he was in the Army, an accident happened. A hand grenade explodes in the same hand which he wants to win the gold medal with. Sadly, he lost his hand. His dream, his focus, everything was gone. He had two options. One cry and hide somewhere for the rest of his life or grab on to his dream so he did he did not focus on what was gone he focused on what he has which what was it a left hand a hand he could not even write with he was treated in the hospital for one month and right after one month he started training after one year of training in 1939 he returned National championships were happening in Hungary. There were a lot of other pistol shooters too. They congratulated him and said, that's the spirit, that's the sportsmanship, that despite all this happened, you still come see and encourage us. Nobody knew he was practicing non-stop for one year. And he replied, I am not here to encourage you, but to compete with you. Be ready. During the competition, everyone was competing with their best hand and him, he was competing with his only hand. Only hand. Guess who won? The man with the only hand, Carolee won. But he didn't stop there. His goal was clear that I have to make this hand the best shooting hand in the whole world. So, he put all his focus on the 1940s Olympics. But 1940s Olympics got canceled due to the World War. So, he put all his focus on the Olympics that were going to happen in 1944. But the 1944 Olympics got canceled too because of World War. He put all his focus next on 1948's Olympics. In 1938, his age was 28 years old. In 1948, his age was 38 years old and it becomes difficult to compete with younger players. But there was no word, no room for difficult in his dictionary. He went to the competition. The best shooters from all over the world were there who were competing with their best hand and he was competing with his only hand. And who won? The man with the only hand. But he still didn't stop. 1952 Olympics, he competed again. This time, who won the gold medal? Carolee. After four years again, and changed the whole history of the Olympics. Before him, no one ever won two gold medals in this category. If you go to a loser, he'll have a whole list of excuses and that why he failed because of this reason in my life or that reason. I couldn't do anything because of this or that. On the other hand, winners only have one reason to do what he really wants to do, and he will do that. There are no excuses in life, only goals. Those who try, never lose. Failure is a task. Go look at what's missing and improve until you succeed. Don't waste time sleeping. Find the focus of motivation. Force yourself to study. Do it for your parents. You are their hope. We all have dreams in life that we can die for. I do not know if you have any dream or not, but I do know that if you are watching my video, there must be something special inside you. 
there will definitely be some clear seeds inside you that is going to become a tree. Do not waste your time in doing which you do not have control, but do things in which you have an interest, the dreams for which you have the courage to fulfill. You should give yourself to that work. This is the key to success.